going on y'all this is mix back at it again another episode of graffiti hunting in nyc we in brooklyn coney island today we're gonna stop at the spot called uh, coney art walls which was a collaborative project of a bunch of different muralists and graffiti artists that put together some walls over here uh down by the boardwalk um just checking out making sure that my park is okay for the car so I'm going to just show y'all a couple of the little uh, landmarks here and then we're going to go check out the whole gallery of the art walls, all right? If you get a chance, stop by nowyoucannyc.com, pick up some gear, you know what I'm saying, help support the channel, support my artwork too. All right, let's get it cracking. That's a classic face right there. Always goes with Coney Island. It's almost like the logo. I always remember seeing that down here. It's kind of wild. Would make a dope tattoo. Everything is closed down right now. It's a good thing I chose now to come check this out because um, during the regular season, this, this spot would be flooded with people. You know what I mean? So good to come during the off time so I can get good shots of all these murals and whatnot. Somebody burning out here. Days of school, school murals org. So got this uh, marine themed mural right here. So that's a big thing they do down here is the um, the mermaid parade. Then you got the boardwalk and all the rides and everything. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna walk up in there in a second. So I'm pretty sure this was not part of the um, the art walls project. Somebody got their regular tags up, a little throwy, some gang graffiti. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Right. Seagulls going crazy over there. Coney Art Walls, and they rob us with Thrive Collective. So Thrive Collective, and the same folks that put some of the murals together that you saw in the Bronx episode that I did where I was up in my head. So looks like they might have gotten together with some people here to get these murals going. Pretty dope. Let me check out some more piece, pieces over here. Let's see what's good. So this is this is real wild. I'm gonna pull up on this just to zoom in so you guys can see a little more of the um, the details. So this is school murals this is Thrive. Um, they got a hand in this too. The dudes are like the missionaries. This is wild. So it looks almost like a like an acid trip of Coney Island. Bugged out. Let's keep moving. What's wild is man, I told I, I was told this neighborhood was kind of like turning around. It used to be rough back in the day, man. When I was pulling up over here, about one corner, dudes was on the lean. Looking like they was hitting that heroin. And it was just laid out on the corner, man. It was looking crazy. It's like, 
definitely look like this spot's still struggling. All right, let's keep moving, check it out. This 100% looks like it was painted by hand. I don't think it was any spray paint in this whatsoever. Abrahamic religions. So it looks like they got representatives of different religions. They all reading from different books, different belief systems. I don't see an Instagram tag here, but I see a signature. Like they got this place shut down. I might have to shoot this another day. It's kind of wild looking. But at that. Cashini. Now I wonder if this was done with paint oh yeah it looks like it from up close that is wild there's been details in there bananas somebody was bugging when they saw this hold on i forgot to catch this old disney piece over here let me get that before i try to work my way into here see this whole thing So almost like a Ron English. Oh, yep. Straight up Ron English. I see the signature already. Knew it. Ron English always got some bugged out pieces in real prominent places. Look at that. That's dope, too. This dude got a crazy, crazy, crazy um, imagination. Get that. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's walk around, see if I can catch something else. I'm in this part of a restaurant or something. We got a pizza stand. Let's see what else. Wall burgers. And the nets. Got me on the arcade. Coney Art Walls. In Coney Island, past the present. Let's see if they give any information about who was doing this mural. Oh, they, they got this in different languages. Alright, this is definitely painted by hand, too. You can see the hand strokes. That's dope. So, down there is the main train station. N train, the D train, I think the F train comes here too. This is the main strip, so everything is jumping on the on season. That's wild looking. Dope. This got a crazy amount of detail in it. I feel like I've seen seen a spot somewhere where somebody had artwork that was like this. I don't see how in Na Nazem. Oh, they got like a little little thing here that shows who did it. Just back up on it. Okay. Let's keep moving. Yeah, man, this hole looks closed up. Welcome to Coney Art Walls, Greenwood Beach. Thanks, music. 
Sound like somebody fighting down there. Summertime 2017. This is when they did this project. Crash. BR 163. There you see the theme park. Get all those rides in there. Task crew also. So you recognize the style. Dope. We tagged up this little cargo joint. Dope. Lift monster. Oh, it's buff monster. It's a dude I think they did on. Um, was it the the documentary about Banksy? The buff monster was on it. Or am I totally wrong about that? All right, so we get up on this piece. Dope. Right. Baffy, I think is the name. No, no. Miss Van, Miss Van, my bad. Alright, so we got Miss Van. Keep looking. Alright, we got one by one of my personal favorites, Mr. C Tunes, right here, boy. Mr. Cartoon. Look at that. Bam. Moving. I think I saw it was on this side. So this is line art. And then you got this right here. Pretty dope. I wonder who did this piece. Now I've definitely seen this dude's work. I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna take a guess. It's a Deferk. I don't know. Deferk. I don't know if I'm saying that right. D E F E R K. Fly. It's like some abstract calligraphy. And we got this one that I showed you before. Monster follows. A new kind of terror. It's in the numb the nerves. It's pretty wild. Bugged out. Now there's something behind this. See what's good with that. Oh, this is just like a regular old wall. They ain't really do much with that. This one I know what they did something with. For me to get, I can't really back up on it. it. Looks like they gave this person some 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 room to work with, but nothing crazy about it. All right, let's back up. I really want to get that nitro piece. So we got this D face. Even these joints look crazy. It looks like a piece of art. Painted those up. Let's get this nitros piece. All right. For 
First time I seen one of his pieces up close. The detail in this shit is crazy. Bananas. We got the calligraphy joints here. Let's see what this wall says. I see the Von Bowl joint. Graffiti 2020. That's dope. If the battle chooses you, choose what you battle with. Dope. <laughs> Got the hot dogs and all that. Nice. Sherry the Yacht. It's a bugged out piece. Now, this is one of my all time favorites. Vaughn Bold. I wonder if Mark Bold did this or somebody else just kind of did it as an homage. These are all the artists that contributed. Mark Bold did it. Word up. Salute Mark Bold. It's Pops. The Cheech Wizard. This is interesting. This is real dope. Looks almost like one of those stencil pieces. All right. this that's cool this one is interesting still going with that mermaid theme they trying to keep it straight Coney Island the sea dragon the sea serpent this is all abstract right here look almost like a Matisse piece Nina, Nina Chan. All right. So then you got Thrill. That's dope. Days did that one too. Okay. Uh, rack. This is for like left rack city. We got all tags in there. It's kind of kind of wild looking. You go up close to it, you'll see that it's got all layered upon layered tags. Those are like classic tags too. These last two pieces, last three pieces, and get up out of here. So you got the US dollar. <laughs> That's wild, but it's got the Last Supper with all these prominent political figures. Let's get up on there. Some tables a little hard to get. Now this look wild. This is like a straight etching. I guess this is some sort of sea creature. Wow, this must have taken somebody a long time because for real, this looks like the actual pen and ink joints. Blown up. Who's the artist? Coming soon, 2030. <laughs> That's wild. I don't see the signature nowhere. And you kind of got this psychedelic snake thing going on. Real trippy. All right. I think I got everything here. It's time for me to go.
here's the flip side to all of this, right? Came from over there where they had all that fancy polished stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then here we got an RIP mural. Only a couple blocks away from the main joint. Right across the street from the projects. Unity, we must stop the violence. Memory of Steven Rodriguez. They put a lot of names to people here that lost their lives to violence. So I'm just bring you right back to reality, man. Living memory of family and friends. So I would say that that's pretty successful. Got to get a lot of cool footage by a lot of prominent street artists I'm a fan of, plus some graffiti artists and everybody that participated in the murals. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're healthy and happy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.